Hello, Premier friends. Today we're going to do a Pilates workout, 30 minute Pilates. I will give modifications for people that need it. Don't be afraid to use the modifications. Remember in Pilates, you want to keep your shoulders down. So when you move your arms, don't crunch up. Shoulders down, arms move. We breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. You want to keep your head to where it's not flung back or forward. Your fist should fit under your chin. Your head is up. Your eyes are looking forward. And if your head gets fatigued, put a small pillow or just lie it down and let it rest. Here we go. Sit up tall. Nice deep breath. Take it in through your nose and out through your mouth. And in, and out, and just one more, in, and out. Very nice. Let's drop our heads. Heads come up. We're going to bring our right ear to our right shoulder. Right hand can come up and push that left arm away like you're on the wall. And back to the center, drop your head, left ear to left shoulder, left hand comes up, push that right hand away, breathe, and release, and let's bring those shoulders up and around. And reverse it, good. Arms go out. We're going to take them up, interlace your fingers, push your palms toward the ceiling, and circle. This is called the halo. One, two, and three. Let's reverse it. One, two, and three. Put your hands under your legs. You can have your heels down and toes up or feet down. We're going to C-shape our spine, look forward at our knees, and then come up and look at the ceiling. And C-shape it down. And up. Two more. Down. And up. One more. Down. And up. You can stay here or reach those fingers. It's down. And up. Let's bring them to where the ceiling and the wall meet. And down, relax the shoulders, and up, two more, down, and up, this last one we're going to hold back, make sure you're not holding your breath, and let's lift those arms, one, two, three, four, breathe, one, feel those abs activate, two, three, four, just one more set, one, two, three, and four. Both arms go up. Bring yourself up. We're going to put our hands under our legs. Come on down. Hands are in back of your head. Elbows are wide. You're going to alternate toe tap. It's one, two. I'll shake those legs. Bring your whole leg up. Four. Keep the right angle at your knee. Two, three, and four. Abs are tight. One more. One, two, three, and four. Bring those legs up and let's do both legs. It's tap and lift. Use your core. Tap and lift. If you want to have more abs, you can drop your head. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. Two more. Tap and lift. One more. Tap. Let's stop here and we're going to combine these. You're going to flex your foot, feet. You're going to push out, in, tap, lift, breathe. Out, in, tap, lift. Out, in, tap, lift. Let's do two more. Out, in, tap, and lift. One more. Out, in, tap. And lift. Bring yourself up. Scoop back on your mat a little. 
Feet are flexed, fingertips are reaching, spine stretch forward. Take a breath, and as you exhale, pull your belly in, lengthen away, flatten that back, and breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Take a breath, and as you exhale, come up one vertebra at a time. Shoulders stay down, back straight, heads high. Two more. Take a breath, and as you exhale, pull your belly in, heads between your arms. Breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Take a breath, and as you exhale, come up nice and tall. Shoulders down, back straight, heads high. One more. Take a breath, and as you exhale, pull your belly in. Bring your chest toward the floor. Lengthen through your neck. Breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Take a breath, and nice and tall. Come up one vertebra at a time. Shoulders are down. Back is straight. Head is high. Let's bring those feet in again. We're going to warm up the obliques this time. You can have your heels down and toes up. Or if you can keep your feet down, keep them down. We're going to take a breath, and as you exhale, sweep to the side. And up. Other side. Sweep. And up. And sweep. And up. And sweep. And up. Just one more time. Sweep. And up. Last one. Sweep. And up. Tuck those legs in. You can scoot to the front of your mat. Toes are down. Relax your shoulders. Beginners can hold under. More advanced people can hold your ankles or even put your elbows on your knees. We're going to roll like a ball. You're going to rock and balance. And rock and balance. Just one more. Rock. Stop here. I want your right hand on your right ankle, your left hand on your right knee. We're going to come down, L-shape that leg, relax your shoulders, extend the other leg out, and you exhale as you switch. So it's one, single leg stretch, two, keep that leg L-shape, three, and four. More advanced people, you can come up, one, two, three, and four, one. Two, three, four. Hands in the back of your head. Elbows stay back. One, two, three. Let's stop here. I want you to look at the elbow of the leg that's up. Notice that leg's L-shaped. Without crossing over, I want your elbows wide. Look down. Look down. Look down. Look down. Breathe. One. Two, three, four, one, two, exhale every time you turn, three, four, two more sets, you should feel those obliques, one, two, three, four, one more set, one, two, three, and four, very nice, set those feet on the floor. Don't mind me if I'm a little off balance. My carpet is bumpy under this mat. Heads down. Arms are out like a big airplane. Let's drop your knees to the right and your head to the left. Take a little stretch. And back to the center. Knees to the left, head to the right. Take a little stretch. Back to the center. Bring those feet off the floor and let's do a hip rolls. You're going to take a breath, and as you exhale, let those knees go as far as they can. Shoulders stay on the floor, and then use your core and bring those legs back to the center. To the left, over, and back to the center. More advanced people, bring those legs up. Heels in, toes out, Pilates stance, and it's over. Otherwise, keep them bent. And back to the center, and other side, over. Use your core. Back to the center. One more set. Over. Back to the center. 
over. Back to the center. Let's slide those legs out. Arms go over your head and we have a half roll up. Feet are flexed in together. The arms come up, pull your belly in and lift. Come down. Arms go over if you have trouble getting up. Gently rock yourself up and lift and down and over. We're going to do two more. Come up, pull your belly in, lift, down and over. One more. Come up. In this one, we're going to stop at the top and lift that right leg. Roll down. And over, we're going to lift first. Come up, pull your belly in. It's lift. Lift that left leg. Roll down. And over. Let's do three more sets of these. Come up, pull your belly in. It's up. And lift. And down. Roll down. And over. And up, navel the spine. Lift. Breathe. B set, lift, down, roll down, and over, and up, pull your belly in, lift, and lift, down, roll down, and over, and up, pull your belly in, lift, and lift, and down, roll down, last set. Come up, pull your belly in, it's lift, breathe, lift, down, roll down, and over, last one. Come up, pull your belly in, let's lift, and lift, roll, come, bring it down, roll down, and over, very nice. Bring those arms around, walk your feet in, we're going to bring our right leg up. Walk it hand over hand. Let's give it a little stretch. Open those elbows. Walk your hands down and rotate the ankle. One, two, and three. Reverse it. One, two, and three. Now, when we set up for leg circles, you want to be in Pilates stance. So your heels in, your toes out. If both feet were up, you'd be in first position. This left foot can be on the floor or you can slide it out. It's up to you. Your arms are by your side. I want you to pretend you're lying in a canoe. Your body does not rock. Any size you want to make these circles is fine as me, with me as long as those hips are still. So you're going to take it across and around. One, inhale as you start. Exhale as you go. come back. Two, three, four. Five, if you need to bend your leg, that's fine. The movement comes from the hip. Seven, we're going to do eight and eight. And now, you can reverse it. Make sure you have your turn out. Or if you want to be a little more advanced, lift your head, put your hands in back of your head, your elbows are wide, and lift the left leg. And circle that left leg. One, so you choose. Two, you can keep going on the right leg. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring those legs in. Hug your knees together. Rock side to side. And let's do the left leg. So set your left, right leg down. Bring your left leg up and climb hand over hand. Interlace your fingers. Open your elbows. Bring that leg in towards you. Walk your hands down, head is down, take that leg, turn heel and toe out. You decide if you want to keep your right leg on the floor or slide it out. Arms are by your side, hips are still. Here we go. Inhale as you start, exhale as you go around. One, two, three, four. Like you're circling a pole. Five, six. Ankles are still. Seven. One more. And eight. Now you can reverse it. Or put your hands in back of your head. Elbows are wide. Lift that right leg and circle it. One. Two. Three. 
four, don't drop your head, five, remember your fist should fit under your chin, six, seven, and eight. Excellent job. Bring your legs in. Push those heels up toward the ceiling. Do a little baby's play. And tuck those legs in. Your hands are by your shins. Your head comes up. You look at your knees. Your hands are going to go by your ears like you're taking off a hat. And come around. Your legs are going to go out into Pilates stance. Heels in, toes out. And come around. We're going to exhale as we stretch. One. And exhale all the way. Two. And. Three. And take your time. Four. And let's do two more. Five. And in just one more. Out. And in. And come on up. Okay, side series. You're going to have your legs slightly forward. Make sure they're not straight or you will not balance well. I like to have my elbow down. If this is hard or a challenge for you, you can go down and put your hand under your head this way. You're gonna have some ribs off the mat. The top hand can be here, 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 or here. I am not picky about that as long as your hips are stacked. That's the important thing. We're gonna start by picking up that leg. Let me push back so you can see it. Point your toe, turn your knee toward the center, and we'll start with a little hot potato. So you're going to tap three times forward. It's one, two, three, whoop, up. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, five. Just one more. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, and up. Let's bring that leg down hip height. So, straight out like there's a level on it. Foot is flat, down and up from here, so control it. One, small movement. Two, very nice. Three, four, take your time. Five, and six, your foot is flexed. We're gonna pretend it's on a glass table. It's gonna go one, two, and back, same height, here we go, one, two, back, keep your belly in, don't rock your shoulders, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one more, one, two, and six, come on over on your back, Take that leg you worked, put the ankle on the other knee. We're going to lift that bottom leg, interlace your fingers, pull your leg towards you. You can lie your head down. Give it a little stretch. And now shift your weight just gently to, the, I have my left leg up, so I'm going to go to my left. And then back to the center. And then just shift it gently to the right. And you're going to feel a stretch in your glutes. This is a good sciatic stretch. And back to the center. Very nice. Uncross your legs. Let's do a little ab exercise. You're going to put your hands in the back of your head. Legs come up. Heels in, toes out. We're going to do the waterfall. So you're going to pull down. Your back does not arch. You come in and up. Pull down like you're pulling a cable. In and up. Four more. Down. In. One. Down. In. Two. Just one more. Down. In. And up. Bring yourself up. And turn over. Remember, legs are slightly forward, hips are stacked. You decide where your hand wants to go. We're going to bring the top leg up, turn your knee toward the ceiling. Hot potato. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, one. One, two, 
three, up, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, and six, legs out, foot's flat, control it, straight out, here we go, one, two, three, four, five, one more, and six, that leg's up hip height, bring it forward, remember it's on a table, it's not going to go down or up, one, two, one, upper body still, if you need to put a hand here, that's fine, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one more, one, two, and six, very nice, let's stretch that leg, come on over, take that leg, this time it's my right one, I'm going to lift the left leg, interlace my fingers, pull that leg in toward me, Shift my weight a little bit to the right, just an inch or so. You'll feel the stretch deepen. Both of my feet are flexed. And come back to the center. And then just shift it to the left. Feel that stretch. It feels out to good. Come back to the center. Uncross your legs. We're going to bring one leg up, grab it anywhere but behind your knee. So if you have to grab low, I'm fine with that. Toes pointed, other legs out, relax those shoulders, and we're going to scissor. So it's one, two, I exhale as I switch, three, four, core's nice and tight, one, two, three, four. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, reach your hand, three, four, one, two, arms can go up, three, and four, bring those legs in, we're going to lie our head down, reach our hands toward the ceiling, this is called the coordination, you're going to pull your hands down and lift everything up, notice my feet go in Pilates stance, we're going to point to open, feel an inner thigh stretch, flex to close, L shape those legs. The heels are not down by your butt. Head goes down, arms go up. Three more. Stretch, breathe. Don't hold your breath. Point to open. Flex to close. Knees to chest. Head down, arms up. Two more. Exhale and stretch. Point to open. Flex to close. Bend those legs. Head down, arms up. Just one more. Take a breath, and as you exhale, reach. Breathe normally. Open. Close. Bend. Head down, arms up. And let's go into double lower lift. We're going to run out of time. So, we're going to bring those legs up. Hands going back of your head. Elbows are wide. If you have a bent back, all I want you to do is tap and lift. Use your core. Tap and lift. Otherwise, your legs are up in Pilates stance, heels in, toes out. You're going to take a breath, and as you exhale, you're going to lower down, two, and three. Your back does not arch. You do not touch the floor. Then you take a breath, and as you exhale, lift up, two, and three. Very nice. Here we go. Down, two, elbows are wide, three, lift, up two, three, reach away like you're pulling a cable down, down, two, three, bring it up, up, two, three, let's do two more, down, two, three, up, two, three, last one, down, two, three, breathe, lift, up, two, and three, set your feet on the floor. Legs are hip width apart, arms are straight down by your side. You're gonna imprint your back into the floor, navel toward the spine, and lift those hips up toward the ceiling. 
Take a breath. And as you exhale, bring those arms up and over and reach toward the back of the room. And breathe. Four, these are great for your back. Three, two, and one. We're gonna take it right into the roll up. You're gonna take a breath and as you exhale, roll down. Your arms come down. And then like a sleepwalker, you're gonna lift your head, lift your shoulders, slide those legs up. Feet are flexed in together and reach it forward. Now, two things. Make sure you pull your belly in when you go forward. If not, you're gonna get a nice big muscle here. It's strong, but it's not attractive. So pull that navel to your spine. That's the important part of this exercise. Also, if you have trouble getting up, I want you to come down and like before, lift your legs. It's easier on your back if you gently bring yourself up and then get that stretch, breathe it through come up and roll it down. Let's do four of them and then I'll change it. Come up, pull your belly in. Here we go, fold in half, reach away. Inhale as you come up, exhale as you go down. Arms go over, rock yourself up if you have to. Come up, pull your belly in and reach. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you go down. We're going to do two more if you want to challenge yourself. Keep your ears by your arms. It's a little bit more challenging when you come up and reach. Bring it up. Roll it down. And over. One more. Come up. Pull your belly in. Take it forward. Let's come up. And we'll do a little... Um, extra abs in between. So here's your choice. Your legs can be out or if you have a bed back, bend your legs. We're going to lean back and we're going to open and close. Exhale in the open and open and close. Again, if you need to lean back and open and close, you're still working your abs. One more. Open and close or neck pulls. Your legs come apart. Your hands go up by your head. I like them in front so you don't actually pull on your neck for your neck pull. If um, this is too much of a challenge for you, go back to the roll up. We're going to lean back, hold it for a second, and then roll down. If you need your hands, use them. Otherwise, lift your head. Pull your belly in and take a bow. Breathe. And back up. Just four of them. Lean. Roll it down. Come up. Pull your belly in. Take that bow. Fold in half. Remember, tuck your abs in. And up. Two more. They say you could do 10 roll-ups versus 50 crunches and have a flat tummy. Come up, navel to spine, fold. And up, just one more. Lean, roll it down. Come up, pull your belly in, here we go. Lengthen through your spine, breathe. And stay up. We're gonna come over on our hands and knees. I'll do a little tabletop. Hands are right under your shoulders. I like to take my right hand forward on the floor, like twister. Left leg back on the floor. And then take a breath. I'll scoot up a little. And as you exhale, lengthen up. Use your core. Breathe. Four. Three. Two. And one. Stay here. Keep your balance. And bring that arm to the side and forward. Side, stay balanced and forward. You can always put your toe down. Sorry if this is a challenge for you. Side and forward. Just one more. Side and forward. Let's put our hand back, bring our knee in, scoot back into child's pose. 
come back up and we'll do the other side. So it's left hand forward, right leg back, pull your belly in as you lengthen up and breathe. Four, three, two, and one. You can put that right foot down if you need to. Otherwise, it's back and forward. Good. Back and forward. Think of your arm as the windshield wiper. Back and forward. Just one more. Back and forward. Set your hand down, set your foot down, slide back into child's pose. And let's end with the swim. So, for those of you that have not done the swim before, you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth for five. So you go in, out. We're gonna do three sets and hold it up. Come down on your stomach. I want you to bring your legs apart, your arms out, lengthen through your neck like a turtle coming out of a shell. We're gonna pull our belly in, lift up, look down. Here we go, breathe in. Out, in, out, in, out, hold it up, lengthen away, breathe, four, three, two, and that's a wrap, take it down, let's push back into child's pose one more time. Push back, stretch your back. I hope everyone's going out for walks. If you can, maybe a bike ride, watching our videos. Social distancing. We need to social distance so we can get back to work. Here we go, nice deep breath. Take it in and out. Two more, in. And out if there's anything you want to see on the Pilates videos let us know and I will work out another one in and out bring your legs to the left your hands to the right you're going to take that right hand I mean your left hand up and over and let's thread the needle take it through come back up put your hand on your ankle and stretch it the other way Come on down, we have the other side. And here we go. Right hand up and over. Get that stretch in. Come up, stretch the other way. Beautiful. Come back down, arms go up, and up, and out. Right hand on left. Left on right. Excellent job, everyone. See you soon.